All right, Swivel is on. Do you do you like being called DJ Swivel, by the way, or is it just Swivel? Yeah, this is like the whole DJ thing. Swiv, Swiv, Swivel. I like that. Swivel's on the Adam Bomb Show, man. It is so good to meet you. It's great how the record reps play the artists up, but to actually hear your stuff and play your stuff on our mix show on the Saturday Night Q in Atlanta, right. man. That's that's to hear that, man. It's so great. Everything they talk about. Is, is dead on with you, man. Right. So how, how much fun do you have creating? Because there are a lot of artists that love to perform. There are a lot of artists that love to be there. But you're not only that, you're the creator of a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I started as a producer, songwriter from the beginning, and, and that was always kind of how I got into the mm -hmm. game. Uh, so for me, it's just like that's sort of the natural thing. And then seeing like other artists perform your records is always, you know, nice to see. And, and yeah, that was just kind of the way I got in. And now when you when you, do you like look for a certain artist to do a song with or does it just come naturally where they might hit you up or I don't I don't know how that process because it seems like so random when they put a producer and an artist together or a producer and just whatever together. Right. Um, you know, every song is different. So sometimes you'll be in with an artist and then they'll, they'll you, you know, you'll write a new song and they'll love it and it'll go. Sometimes you'll be in with that artist, you'll write a song and they decide, eh, it's not for us. And then you'll pitch that song to another artist, even though you wrote it with a different artist. Yeah, right. And then sometimes you're just in with songwriters and, and other, you know, creatives and dope people. And what's the longest and you've you ever, pitch. what's the longest you've ever spent in a studio at one time, at one sitting? Oh, um, I have two interesting stories. Uh, 67 hours. Uh, with Fabulous. What? Uh, <laughs> over <laughs> over Thanksgiving, oddly enough. Wow. Uh, and then I did uh, 42 hours with Beyonce with no sleep. My and God. And she, she didn't sleep either. That was what was crazy. What's she it, didn't what, sleep. What's, I wonder what the interaction is like on no sleep with Beyonce or Fabulous or anybody. It's got to be uh, crazy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she, she the, the funny thing with her is like uh, we were actually in the studio and I was just trying to stay up, and she's a machine, so I'm just trying to keep up with her. Um, and so we, we got a bunch of these five-hour energy shots. Have you ever had those? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, many times. They're the worst, apparently. <laughs> well, but, you want to take more than way. one, right? Right. <laughs> well, I didn't know this at the time. I'm like, five hours. All right. Let me just have another one every five hours. So her and I were going back and forth, and then we ended up leaving the studio. Uh, and then, like, two days later, we both were, like, violently ill <laughs> from, from this just to try and stay up and finish these songs. So... Hey, it's dedication, yeah. man. It's dedication. There you right, go. Before we play Extreme Django with Swivel, let's just talk about uh, the BTS phenomenon. Yeah. Working with them. I mean, K-pop is something that this country is really getting to know. But for you as a producer, is it any different from actual pop music in America? Um, no, uh, a little bit, but not really. So when we write a song for K-pop, obviously they'll end up translating it to, to Korean. But we're just writing a great song. We just try to write a good song. It's not cater to any market um, but what's unique about k-pop is they have these bands that are five seven people uh, in the case of bts seven people and so you gotta you can actually be more creative because you have to find unique parts for every member of the band okay and so you actually get to be more creative sometimes we're in a, a session and uh you know you write a verse a, a, a chorus and it's that simple whereas with a bts song if you have three different verse ideas, throw them all on there because somebody might do this I part. See, okay. so, so you actually get to be more creative, which I love. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Swivel, we're about to play Extreme Jenga, so let's uh, come on over here. I'm very competitive. Swivel, so. All right, well, uh, we'll see if we can answer the question here. Swivel, so you want to grab a piece from wherever. If you want to, okay. let's see here, I'm going to keep it up. All right, that's a good one. All right, what's this one? What would you not be able to give up for a million dollars? Probably just my personal freedom. Okay. I've never had a boss, and I don't want one. How, how much fun is that, though? I, I think a lot of people don't experience that. I mean, it's it's all like it's on you to like succeed or fail, right? Mm -hmm. So I like the idea of waking up, and it's it's all on me. I yeah. have nobody to blame. I have nobody, you know. So I like it. I don't okay. have to, and I don't have to wear what you know. I don't have to wear a uniform. I don't have to do anything. That's of the that. best part. Yeah. I have a twin brother who has to wear a suit every day and go to an office. So. <laughs> you know. That's funny. Swivel yeah. on the Adam Bomb Show, man. Thanks for coming by, dude. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.